I've signed myself up for a Pilates class this morning, a 9 a.m. class, so get ready with me to go to Pilates. I'm gonna start off by doing my hair, as we can see. I can't step out not even to get a package from the mailroom with my hair looking like this. I'm going to do a half up, half down kind of thing. Definitely my hair has to be pulled back in some way because if you've taken any Pilates class, you know, doing that with your hair out is a no. I'm quite scared of this Pilates class today because I've never been to it, as I mentioned, and the description said you were gonna feel the burn even in your toes. In my toes? That's quite scary, not gonna lie. Let me stay hydrated now so that I'm not dying later. I don't know if I mentioned that it is a reformer Pilates class. And honestly, in my opinion, the reformer looks quite intimidating, but I think matte Pilates and floor Pilates are equally just as intense. Dare I say it, I think the matte Pilates might be a little more challenging for me. I used to think at one point in time that Pilates and yoga were very similar. Mm, no. Yoga, I feel like I get into like my flow states and I can stretch and breathe into the movements. Pilates, I feel like sometimes I'm fighting for my life. But that's why I love it because that really helps me to push myself past my limits. Oftentimes you'll hear an instructor be like, you know, Give the person next to you some energy because if they see you're slowing down and they're also gonna get the idea like, okay, like maybe I should also slow down and like take a break and not try to push myself as hard. So everyone's kind of just like bouncing off each other's energy and I really like that. I already did my morning skincare minus some sunscreen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this. The branding has wiped away, but it is the ACH sunscreen stick. It kind of looks like it has a white cast on camera. This is my recent, actually it's been for a while, a holy girl product for me. It's like a sunscreen stick, like a zinc stick with SPF 50, but it makes the perfect match of concealer for me. Like, oh no, it looks yellow on camera. But SPF like concealer. They have like a pink one that can kind of be used as a blush and one even lighter than this one. I think it's an Australian brand. It looks so yellow on camera, I promise you it's not that yellow in real life. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a little sponge. I might do some mascara as well. Unpopular opinion, I like mascara that is almost running out because I feel like it just looks better. Tinted chapstick from Burt's Bees. My favorite color is I think Red Dahlia and another one. This one is Sweet Violet. I think the other one is in my purse, so I'm just gonna put this one on. I have some little gold hoops I'm gonna put on. I lost my real gold earrings in Spain, unfortunately, so I'm currently seeking out new gold hoops. All right, let's go pick out a cute little Pilates girl outfit. So I'm gonna see if I can find any pair of my Pilates socks because every time I'm in a rush for class, magically I can't find any of them and I can only find mismatch and then I just have to go and buy a pair at the studio so I'm not wearing mismatch socks. I found a pair, I was looking for my black ones but these are just a pair that I got when I couldn't find Pilates socks in time. These are them. They got little flowers on them, I think. I got this sports bra, and I really like the way it looks. It has a complete open back, and it's like a halter, and it has built-in padding. We're not doing pink Pilates princess aside from my socks, so I'm gonna do that sports bra and a pair of brown leggings. Let me put it on. All right, so this is the fit check. Okay, I lotioned my legs before I put my leggings on, but I didn't lotion my upper body, so I'm using my current fave. I am going to wash it off my hands though after I'm done applying because I get such easy clammy butterfingers and you need a grip on that, on the reformer like handles and stuff. And I don't want to have like all slippery wet little fingers while I'm doing my workout. So I'm going to add some body oil. I like this one because it's not 
too overly shiny, so it's not gonna look crazy. I put some deodorant on. This is a serum deodorant, and it's what I'm gonna put on today. I have to let it dry a little bit because it's like a really wet deodorant. This is the fragrance that I'm using. It's from Ferenci from Target, and it's the one, the lavender cloud one, and I also have the the little oil because it helps it to last longer. It smells so good and it's not too overpowering so you're not like in a strong fragrance in class. All right, I got my Apple Watch on. Should I be annoying and change the band on it to match my outfit today? I think I will. I changed it and I'm really happy that I did because it looks so cute with my outfit today. Class starts in like an hour. Let's have a pre-Pilates Nah. So I think I'm gonna do some oatmeal, um, just a little bit with some almond butter and banana and a little bit of cinnamon, nothing too crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and enjoy some of this breakfast. I didn't even read the reviews on this Pilates studio. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I'm really excited now. There's so many good reviews. I'm feeling very optimistic about this class today. Like, I'm getting excited. Just in time because I'm about to take some pre-workout. I used to never be a pre-workout or caffeine girl at all. I just relied on my good old ADHD to get the energy and excitement going. But I think taking pre-workout has gotten me through some of my Pilates classes. Like it literally carried me through my Pilates classes. This almond butter, I just got it from Trader Joe's. Mm, Trader Joe's doesn't really ever disappoint me, but I don't know. You kind of taste like it's separated, like the ingredients. I'm just gonna leave that almond butter in the side where I put it and eat around it. Okay, this may seem a tad extra, but I am gonna stretch a little bit on my yoga mat before my class because I've noticed a lot of the reformer Pilates classes I do, the warm up is like there barely is one, like they just kind of get straight into it. Uh, my body is just a little sore. So a little stretch isn't going to hurt me because I have enough time. Okay, that was adequate enough stretching for me. Let me go ahead and grab my Pilates bag. All right, let me show you what I have in my little Pilates bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my grippy socks in there because I'm wearing flip-flops and I'm not gonna take this, I'm not gonna wear these with my sandals. My little pink water bottle. This is a towel, but this is a towel that's usually um, on like a mat, like a yoga mat, but I just have it in here for, for just in case. I like to be overly prepared for everything. Here. Pilates princess pink. I told you I have my fave lip balm in there. And is this Red Dahlia? No, this is pink blossom. This is my second favorite actually. Wrist weights for added like intensity and difficulty, but this is a reformer Pilates class, so I'm not gonna need them today. So I'm just gonna leave them out because this is just gonna make my bag heavier. And then I have this little lifesaver. If I forget to shave, my legs because this thing will literally get the hairs off you just like rub it on the surface of your skin or if i have like you know like fuzz like on my stomach or wherever this fixes that problem fairly easily and am i missing something yeah that's all i have in there take my pre-workout 
This is the Alani in the flavor Rainbow Candy. As sweet as that flavor sounds, it's actually not that sweet. I thought also that it was gonna be sour and it's not that sour. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do half a scoop of this. I almost never do a full, full scoop of pre-workout just because I really don't, I'm not a person that requires much caffeine for energy, thankfully. Cheers. I think so far, this is definitely my favorite flavor of pre-workout that I have ever had. All right, before I wait, it's time to go. I have, oh my God, my glasses look so huge. I've arrived to the studio, let's see. I look all disheveled and gross, but that means the class was very good. Ended at like nine something, I don't know. It was only a 45 minute class. I loved my instructor. She was so funny. She's from Yemen. And yeah, I can't wait to come back to the studio. Honestly, I might just get a membership here. Like I don't see myself wanting to do Pilates anywhere else. And I'm very happy. And I feel like I pushed myself and I felt the burn. So thank you so much for watching my um, my Pilates vlog. I need to fuel my body with some, some electrolytes right now. So I'm going to go home and drink some coconut water and take a shower and get ready for the rest of my day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.